In the case of quantum systems, there really are no commercially available components that are at least sort of validated to operate in the environment that they're being intended for now in, in a quantum application. And so those developers are having to do a lot of, um, in some cases, just testing of parts to determine whether or not they're going to work. As one of the members in the consortium said, our motto is buy it and try it. As the supply chain starts to fill in and suppliers step up and start making the components that are needed, there's going to be a requirement, a set of specifications that have to be met and there's going to need to be testing to demonstrate that. I think when you're trying to set up a test bed, uh, it takes time, right? It's not just the lead time of the equipment, but it's actual setup and the facilitization of, uh, of the test bed. Um, and also access to expertise. It's not just about the equipment. You need to have the right expertise, whether it be for probing, for cryogenic measurements, or for the test and measurement equipment, which is where Keysight uh, couples well with the form factor team. So I think it's important uh, from a time to market standpoint to have all that set up and in situ that people can just bring their devices into that environment. We make things and we have to test them and we have to measure them at volume and capacity and we have to measure them uh, at uh, the temperatures that we want to go. And then the partnership with Form Factor made that better because then we have real sort of a mix of both the cryogenic capability and the test. And so, uh, so we make devices and we have to measure them and this is the right place to go for that combination of, of tools and capabilities. Boulder is the center of our manufacturing facility for all of our cryogenic equipment. Uh, we've been manufacturing uh, ADR cryostats for over a decade. Uh, the cryogenic wafer prober is something that we've recently released. And we've also recently added dilution refrigerators to our product mix. So instead of you know, investing in training personnel of your own uh, to start operating the equipment, what we do is we have experts here that are able to work with uh, a customer's particular test engineers, uh, they can coordinate a test plan, they can bring in the right test and measurement equipment. So we can collaborate, jointly develop a test plan, and then uh, together we can make those measurements. So I think by having the expertise here of how to run the instruments, uh, customers are able to get that data much more quickly. You know, we have, and we are planning to do a more detailed roadmap that's going to identify where uh, there needs to be some um, increase in understanding, and especially in the area of manufacturing and scaling up manufacturing. Um, it's a great time to be doing all of this, by the way, because the markets are still in the future somewhat. And so I think um, it's very smart to be thinking about it now, to be starting to develop the capabilities and to be positioned to grow with the industry as it takes off. I don't think it's a question of if, but when. One of the things that I find exciting about the test as a service is that this can actually help both small companies as well as large companies. Smaller companies might be component vendors that are trying to get into the quantum computing stack, uh, might not be able to invest a tremendous amount of capex in the equipment required to get started. In addition to the cost, we've also talked about the lead times of this equipment could be six to nine months or longer given uh, current supply chain challenges. So having immediate access to, uh, to a test bed, I think really benefits a startup. If I can say, I'm going to do this rarely and there's, an, uh, there's the ability to outsource, great. I always want to be intelligent about how I deploy the most important things that I do. Now, sometimes I will have critical measurements that I insource and say this is either too critical, too secret, or too hard to transfer. That will also be true in cases. I am making a trade-off on how I allocate my resources, both capital, people, right, space, laboratory space always becomes harder to manage than you might think. And so uh, in those cases, having the ability to say, do some amount of work elsewhere is incredibly helpful. And it just makes it, right, I always have trade-offs. And so this just gives another tool in meeting those trade-offs. Developing deep customer relationships, working very closely with people to develop test plans, ensures that not only are they educated and prepared to scale, 
but that also our technology is going to be there to, um, to enable the future roadmap of quantum computing.